Have you ever tried wrapping your mind around OAuth 2 but ended up lost in a sea of jargons? That's why we're here today. We're breaking down these complex concepts into digestible explanations. Let's dive right in. Imagine the early days of the internet. Sharing info was straightforward. Just hand over your username and password to another service, and they could access anything they wanted. This practice is frowned upon these days, but we might still encounter this practice in certain personal finance software to scrape information from crusty old banks. Luckily, we have something much better these days. Enter OAuth 2. OAuth 2 is like giving someone a special key. This key allows them to access specific information in another application. We control who gets access to our data without having to share a password. And yes, we can revoke that key at any time. Now let's play this out with an example. Consider a photo storage application, SnapStore. We've been using it to store our photos and now we want to print some of them using a third-party printing service, PrintMagic. Instead of manually uploading each photo to PrintMagic, we ask PrintMagic to do the job. With a simple click, we grant PrintMagic permission to access our photos on SnapStore. Using OAuth 2, PrintMagic can then access our SnapStore photos on our behalf without ever knowing our SnapStore login credentials. This is an example of the OAuth flow. It's an elegant dance between us, PrintMagic, and SnapStore, all orchestrated by OAuth 2. Now let's unpack this further. In this context, we are the resource owner because we own our photos on SnapStore. SnapStore is the resource server that stores our photos. PrintMagic is the client that wants to access the photos. The authorization server could be a part of SnapStore or an external identity provider and is responsible for handling the OAuth 2 process. Let's follow the OAuth 2 flow in this scenario. It begins when we instruct PrintMagic to fetch photos from SnapStore. PrintMagic sends a client ID and scope which represent the access level requested to SnapStore's authorization server. As the resource owner, we authenticate directly with SnapStore and grant PrintMagic the consent to access our photos. Once consent is granted, the authorization server sends an authorization code back to PrintMagic. PrintMagic then presents this authorization code, its client ID, and client secret to the authorization server. Now, the client secret is a private key shared only between PrintMagic and the authorization server. If the authorization server verifies the authorization code, client ID, and client secret, it issues an access token to PrintMagic. Finally, PrintMagic uses this access token to request our photos from SnapStore's resource server. This OAuth 2 process ensures that our SnapStore login credentials are never exposed to PrintMagic, while allowing PrintMagic to access only the photos we authorized it to see. It's also important to note that the access token can be set to expire after a certain time or can be revoked by us at any point providing an additional layer of security. OAuth 2 also support refresh tokens, which can be used to obtain a new access token when the old one expires without requiring our intervention. That's OAuth 2 in a nutshell. It's an essential piece of the web security infrastructure and the backbone of many secure, seamless app interactions we use daily. If you like our videos, you might like our system design newsletter as well. It covers topics and trends in large-scale system design, trusted by 400,000 readers. Subscribe at blog.bybygo.com.